TVT, TVT, TVT. Been doing one racks fast expandy things in TVT. I pretty much lose a hundred percent of the time to to tank pushes, and I lose a lot of the time to to Hellion stuff like Hellion elevators and Hellion front hole Hellion things. Um, but I'm not saying the build I'm doing can't beat those things. It's usually what happens is with a ton of pressure coming from a tank push I just completely stop making marines out of the racks that I have and then uh, uh, like when I lose I have 2000 bucks in the bank and so it's obvious that I didn't lose because my build couldn't have won it's I lost because of what I did and like my screw ups so the general build is uh, three racks until starport and then more racks really quick 1-1 one, one because if you get in a fight with uh, marines versus marines and you have 1-1 one, one and he has 1-0 oh, you just kind of dominate the fight me and Nick did a game against each other where he had uh, he had 1-1 one, one, and I had 1-0 and we both had exactly 43 marines and 2 medivacs and at the end of the fight he had like 20 marines left <laughs> it was crazy Like, yeah so upgrades for the freaking win baby and he stole the double engineering bay faster upgrades thing from what Poke Bunny did against him in the New England Star League tournament. And just kind of crushed him to death with a really fast 1 1. And uh, it seems weird to get two engineering bays, get a quick 1 1, and then just let the engineering bays sit idle and do nothing, but that's. The 1 1 is important, 2 2 not so much, because you really want to fight and win with your 1 1, win, win a couple fights with your 1 1 and then add 2-2 two, two later, so I, I'm not going to get the armory quick enough to really... It, like, in, in against Zerg, it's like 1-1 one, one and then super quick 2-2, two, two. but that's not what I'm doing. It's not, it's not, it's not what I'm doing. And the, uh, you can go CC before second depot, and it gives you a CC faster, obviously. Um... And to do that, you cut your second marine. But, uh... But then he gets to see that you have no gas. And nobody likes being seen. Our SCVs are under attack. Upgrade complete. So, uh, depending on whether you think he's going to expand, you want either two, ga two racks right now or double gas and then two racks. You get double gas and two, and two racks, it's just a question of which ones you get first, right? Since I have the watchtower, I'm not super afraid of frontal pushery because people tend not to hide that as often as they hide reapery so I'm gonna prepare for reapery see frontal pushery I get to see it so it's totally not as scary So I'm getting a lot of gas right now. Our SCVs are under attack. And the things I want to get with it are 1-1 one, one and Stim, but Stim takes longer than... and combat shields, but I'm not going to get combat shields for a long time. Upgrade complete. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like he's just doing 
late factory, lots of early infantry, so I think I'm gonna need a bunker. Add on complete. Uh, trying to do so many things at once that I don't have the money for all of them. So right now I'm getting these uh, two reactor cores, I'm pretty weak for the next little while to uh, his marine nonsense. Should have gotten the bunker earlier. This factory is super late too. Add on complete. Uh, I want to have my starport when this is done, but I don't think it'll be out in time because I got my factory so late. I was really afraid of his marine because one of the things that counters this really hard is just to go one base, same thing, because you save the 400 bucks on. Early CC. So stim and plus Upgrade one are done complete. now. Research complete. Because I have the bunker, I feel okay getting a turret ring. It's just for peace of mind so I don't have to run around so much. Look how much gas I have. The starport's way too late. So now both ups are done. This is almost done. When these two medevacs pop, I'll be going. Getting my armory for 2-2 for two two and this expo. It's funny to, like, I'm about to attack and then yeah, I'm cutting army for later game stuff. It's really stupid. I should not, should not. I don't. Hi! Research complete. should have
Oh, I don't know what I was saying. I should have what? Oh, yeah, I should have started those upgrades much earlier, is what I should have. Research complete. Mineral field depleted. Lots of gas, because TVT is all about gas. What is going on here? I'm at 200U, starting 3-3, getting another mech upgrade. <coughs> That's it. Basically just denying his third. That's all you gotta do. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Somebody all game. Get me out of this mess. Uh, I like to stop making upgrade. so Complete. darn much infantry. That's funny, there's a turret over there. Research complete. We could use some help here. Mineral. Infantry is great at ripping their base to shreds, but it's not so great at fighting in battles. Somebody, get me out of this mess! Um, yeah, don't know what else to say, Brohan. We were basically even until that 1-1 one, one timing push, which is funny because he defended against it really well uh, on the low ground, and he had a turret ring, but then bunch of damage for no reason. I don't really remember it very well. 
my memory is flawed. So we shall see what happened, because I totally forget. I want to look at it from his perspective, because I don't really know what he did. I never really scouted. That's the thing, I wasn't going for the win, I was going for the let's do this build no matter what and see if he can come up with a good counter to it, because if he can, then I'll just do whatever he does next time I face this build, because this is like the go-to TBT build nowadays. Basically every Terran does this build on the ladder, uh, at least in Masters League and whatever. So, you know, if someone comes up with a counter to it, I want to be the first one to lose to it, baby. <laughs> Seems like if he catches me without a bunker, just a really quick stim one base Rax push would kick its butt. Anyway, I want to check how good I was doing on benchmark -akins. Pretty bad, actually. At 10 minutes, I want 40, 48 workers, because the expo is even earlier than it is for TV, TVZ. And I'm short, like, 8 workers, and I only lost 1, so that's kind of crap. And then army size, obviously, that's also going to be small, because with less workers, you get less money, so you get smaller army. I'm usually looking for 20, 2400 army plus tech, and I only got 17, so I did really crappy this game. Crappy, crappy, crappy. Alright, so no turret ring. He's basically defending by putting one tank on the high ground and having the rest of his army on the low ground and saying, well, I sure hope he doesn't drop me. That's his strategy. Oh, Snape. he does kill a medevac full of marines right there, and that's cool and everything, but and he also has to stop mining and all these nine workers, almost instantly. Nine workers. Uh, but then he also picked this up pretty good. So, um, yeah, I actually lost more than him, but I stopped mining and made a third base at the same time. Upgrade. That's good. Come so my income right now is way bigger than his. Kind of a, you know, uh, what's like a, one of those bad trades, inefficient trades, but it doesn't matter how inefficient it is because it throws him off. It throws him off, Braun. I love this turret, it's so silly. People like to do drops along that side of the map, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But I prefer to just be immune to drops by making a turret ring around your base, like, uh, like this, so there's no place where you can get by to drop. I mean, I'd want another turret here and then here. And then you put a turret here and here and here and here, and then you turret ring this base with here and here and here and here, and now your whole half of the map cannot be dropped. And then you just put bases all along this half, and the only way he can get across is along the ground, and so you're running around your ground army trying to stop it. You need another turret over here, both sides. See if anyone does drop, you can see it. You can see it, yo. So, okay. Uh, at this point, 180. So 136, pretty just massively ahead. A third base, and now fourth base. Just so much earlier than this. Just funny because until now I never really tried to prevent him from getting third or fourth. He just didn't want one. He's like, you know, I don't want one. So I just don't want one, but I. And TVT because it's basically impossible for each side to kill each other. Uh, you gotta be really greedy with your new bases, man, because, I mean, Somebody you can't punish me for expanding, man. and I can't punish you for expanding, so basically it's just a race to see who expands quicker, you know, because neither one of us can stop the other one from expanding. So, now it's 200 you. Let's see if he catches up to 200 you before I kill him. Nope. So 1-1 one, one against uh, halfway to 3-3. Three, three. Well, 